A Bible is a compendium that consists of all about Jesus. In Genesis, he is the creator, the promised redeemer, the seed of the woman, the ram caught in the ticket, the guest of Abraham, the one that appeared to Jacob and wrestled with him and blessed him. How about in Exodus, he is our Passover lamp. In Leviticus, he is the high priest. In Numbers, he is the water in the desert. In Deuteronomy, he became the cause for us so that the blessing of Abraham can come upon us that were Gentiles in Joshua he is the commander of the army of the Lord in Judges he is our deliverer from the injustice of men in Ruth he is our king's man redeemer in first Samuel he is the three in one he is our prophet our king our priest book of Kings he is the ruler that is greater than Solomon he is the wisdom of God he is the a powerful prophet in the kings also in chronicles he is the son of david he is the one that is coming to rule and reign it eternally in ezra he is the priest proclaiming our freedom nehemiah is the one that restores what is broken down in esther is the protector of his people in job is the mediator between god and man in psalms is our song in the morning and in the night in proverbs is our wisdom in Ecclesiastes is the meaning of life. In Song of Solomon is the author of faithful love. In Isaiah is our suffering servant. In Jeremiah, the weeping Messiah. In Lamentation, he has some the wrath of God for us. In Ezekiel, he is the son of man. In Daniel, he is the fourth man. In the fiery furnace, he never left the furnace because of you and I. In Osea, he is the faithful husband forever married to the backslider in Joel he is the one pouring his Holy Spirit into us in Amos he is the giver of justice in Obadiah he is the judge of those who do evil in Jonah he is the greatest missionary in Micah he cast our sin into the sea of forgetfulness he is the one that the, the mountain of the Lord's house established on top of the mountains he is our comforter in Nahum in Abacook he crushes injustice in Zephaniah the warrior who saves in Haggai is the restorer of our worship in Zechariah is the Messiah pierced for us in Malachi he is the son of righteousness with healing in his wing somebody lift your voice and shout Jesus is the Messiah who is the king in Matthew in Mark is the servant in Luke he is the deliverer he is also the son of man in Luke in John he is the son of God he is God manifested in the flesh in the book of Acts he is the spirit who dwells in his people in Romans he is the righteousness of God in 1st and 2nd Corinthians he is the power and the love of God he is the down payment of what is to come in Galatians he is our very life in Ephesians he is the one that unifies the church in Philippians is the joy of our life in Colossians he holds a supreme position in all things in 1st Thessalonians is our comforter in 2nd Thessalonians is our returning king who is coming back for us in 1st Timothy is the savior of the worst sinner in 2nd Timothy is the leader of leaders in Titus is the foundation of truth in Philemon is our mediator in Hebrews is our high priest in James he is the Matura of our faith in first Peter is our hope in times of suffering in second Peter is the one who guards us from false teaching in first John is the source of all fellowship is the personification of love in second John he is God in the flesh in third John is the source of all truth in Jude he protects us from stumbling and the book of Revelation is the king of kings and the lord of lords the half and the omega the beginning and the end the first and the last the one that is coming again and the one who makes all things new